Monday night. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Monday night fun. Let's go. Okay. Ask away. Would you rather that there was no water on the earth? This doesn't affect the earth at all. Just like how it is, what it looks like. No water or no green anywhere. No green, because then there could still be like sand. You'd still have like scenery. Yeah, but it would just be brown. Yeah, but you'd be able to go swimming. Okay. Would you rather? <laughs> you got a good one. Yeah. Would you rather be able to talk to your animals or the whole like wildlife population in the world? Just like was roamed about, like a lion could literally just go past that window. We'll definitely talk to my animals because I don't like No, but they were safe. But they were safe. They were just like birds, so, like no danger that an elephant could just walk past. Yeah, if they were safe, then the animals everywhere because I don't speak to the dogs just now. So, aye. Still love them, aye. Yeah, you can yeah, still communicate with dogs. They still understand you. Would you rather that you always looked good? You never had to shower or get ready or anything. Like you always just looked great. I don't have to groom myself or trim my beard or anything. Never, like I wouldn't have to do my makeup or my hair. Do I have to shave my toes? Do I have to shave your toes? <laughs> you just look great all the time. Right. And you never had to get ready. You never had to go to the bathroom. You never, had to, you were just, you're like a vampire. You were Edward Cullen, right? Right. Or get five million pounds. Hmm, that's a tough one. Probably the non-shaving, non-looking good thing. Your vein is buck. I would get five mil. Yeah, but it just saves a lot. It just saves a lot of hassle. Like I'd never have to do my hair. I'd never have to go in and shower. Yeah, but, yeah, but money's money. That's something you can't buy. So yeah, but you could like I could win the lottery tomorrow and you. get twenty million, win the euro millions tomorrow, and then I'd still have a hairy back. So you don't have a hairy back. Yeah, but I could do when I'm older. You're that I have to share. Well, it's my answer, so accept mm -hmm. it and move on. Okay. Would you rather never have to clean ever again? Like no dishes, no cleaning the house, or never having to cook again. Never having to clean again, because you can enjoy cooking, and cooking can be quite fun, so I definitely never having to clean Same. again. Yeah, imagine the house just looked great all the time, never had to change sheets, never had to clean the bathroom, never yeah. had to hoover. Imagine you never had to hoover these dogs. Yeah, exactly. Definitely, that's my, that's my answer. Well, the last one. Would you rather... Is that my Kalipo? Who gave me it? Because I said it was okay. I want this one to be a good one, hold on. Look at me and my, my, my kids. <laughs> Chilling. Yeah. Would you rather the dogs live to the end of your life, mm -hmm. right? So say you, say you grow to a hundred. Say, say, say you. Yeah, yeah, they live as long as I live. They're a hundred years old. The dogs would live that long. Right. With no ailments. Okay. But I would die at 50 years old. Oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> Or Definitely you because dogs dogs lifespan is set. Yeah, but you could have them until you were a hundred. You could have them but Yeah, but of course if you were gonna die then definitely not because you they are they are obviously you know, their father time waits for no dog. Whereas you, know you would be you would be cutting you would be short. cutting down so do you, know what, do you know what they say about dogs? Well they are only here for a little while because they're so good and they're so pure and they just have the the, be the best time crammed in a wee while well. <laughs> and that's why that made me cry when I first heard it oh, you're going to make me cry now they're such pure being, look at them these are my, these are my best friends guys, I love you so much <laughs> Okay, so this is Juno's new thing. She refuses to get her whole tail on. Look at Juno? <laughs> Juno? Juno? <Yes>, come. <laughs> Don't you speak to me like that? <laughs> come on. <laughs> drop us, help Drop us, drop us. Like, ah, hurry up, man. I've had enough of this crap. Hold on, I'll hold her down, Dad. Right, so she acts all brazen when I'm chasing her around with the with the pony trying to get it on, back with me and stuff. And then see as soon as it's around us now, she just goes like that. Ah, placid. Hello. You ready for your walk? Yeah, let's go, guys. See ya. Look at that, good girl. You'd never know. <laughs> Bye, Jack. Hello, good morning. Tell you guys a funny story. I decided to go to bed wearing a jumper last night, right? So I just had, I just had my pants on, my jumper, and my, a pair of socks on, right? And I, I, I took my socks off, went to bed, fell asleep, great. Came downstairs this morning. Jack had already left to go and get, you know, her food because she'd run out. And uh, I walk, I'm walking, I'm, I'm picking something up here, I'm going over there, I'm stroking the dog, I'm going there, I'm going that, and then I just hear a chap at the door. And I open the door and someone has left a parcel right on my doorstep and I say, thanks very much. And then our postie that we talked to the most probably just went like that, no problem! And I was like, he just saw me cutting about. 
And the, the, do you know what? I'm not embarrassed, right? But do you know what the embarrassing thing was? The jumper was just long enough to cover up the top of my pants. So it looked like I didn't have any pants on at all. So it literally looked like I just had my bum out with my jumper. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not a good look. We, we call it poo bear in it. That's when you poo bear it. A t-shirt and no pants. That's how my morning went. I'm feeling like I've got wee beady eyes today. I feel quite puffy and swollen. I wonder if there's anything that can help with not having a puffy face when I sleep. I wonder if I sleep stupid. Maybe it's because I sleep on my face. <laughs> Sounds like it could be a thing. Anyway, good morning. It's a wee bit later on in the week than usual. We had a very busy weekend. I think it was, it was a bank holiday weekend. I think it was Memorial weekend in America. But we had a bank holiday weekend and me and Jack ended up working um, right through it. Uh, we just had so much stuff to get done. Um, I actually have, including the vlog, I've got three videos going up this week, which I'm really excited about. Two of which are in partnership with two brands that I've worked with for a really long time, so I'm really excited. I feel like at the start of lockdown, work for us was a wee bit strange just because we didn't know what was going on. And it turns out, at first, things were getting rescheduled and cancelled. Like, our contracts were getting rescheduled and cancelled a little bit. Um, so we just thought we would be quite quiet, so we've just been really careful. You know, over the last couple of weeks, I've been a bit busier, so I'm I'm really grateful, really chuffed. So I hope you guys like those videos. And I am feeling a wee bit, I don't know if motivated or demotivated. I want to get healthier again. At the very start of this lockdown stuff, I think I did, remember I was talking about yoga? Well, I did about five or six days of that, and then we started filming the TV show, which really, honestly, it took up so much of our life. Um, so I stopped doing it. But I think I want to try running. I think I hate running, but I think I'm going to just try it. I'm going to try following a bit of a meal plan that's really, that's not, it's not stupid. It's not like a crazy diet or anything. It's just a really balanced diet. And I think I'm going to just try eating the same thing every day. I need to wait until we've run out of food because then I'll go back and I'll go and get all the ingredients that I need to do this. But yeah, I'm just interested because... I've hit, a bit, I've hit a bit of a standstill. I've not really changed in a while. Or I, I was changing. I was managing to shift some extra weight. And it's kind of just stopped now. So I think I need to be active again. So I'm going to try. I really, I'm trying to figure it out. But I think running. Jack loves his running. Oh, look, he sent me a video. Oh, Jack. Oh. Feeding time at the zoo. Oh, are we lambs? Jack's away walking the dogs. They're so great. The lambs are big anyway already. It's crazy. But I think I would just like to make a change. I would like to, and I feel like running something that's easy. You can do it wherever you are. When when I'm just thinking about when me and Jack get back to travelling, I can. There's always a, a a treadmill in the hotels. I I think I, I think I would quite like to get good at running. Maybe I'll just try it today. I get scared, I get like nervous because I know that I'm not going to be good at it but this is such a stupid way to think, right, but I can't help it. Let me know if you're the same. I get nervous to run because I know that I'm not going to be good at it but the only way to get good at it is to do it. So I, I just don't do it. I just, I'm at a standstill which is the stupidest thinking ever. But even if I just start with like a two kilometer, around our house there's a really easy 2k that you can do. So if I just do two kilometers and, and do that, three times a week and then the next week I'll try going up to three kilometres and then the next week I'll try and do four kilometres. Do you think that's a good way to do it? Probably should ask Jack. Jack's very good at running. I just want to feel nice and feel healthy. I'm getting older guys. I'm getting on. I'm getting on a bit. So I think I would just like to be looking after myself the best I can. Anyone else like to do it with me? So I'm not by myself. What's that couch to 5k? Let's see what that's about. Maybe I'll do couch to 5k. Oh God, I don't really want I just did a 2k already. Right, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I'll let you know how I get on. I did it. <laughs> <coughs> I could taste blood. It's really hard. I just feel like I'm so heavy when I run. Because I'm so tall, I just can't do it. But I did it. Oof, I've got some blood in my face. Some blood rushing around. So I'm just going to try and do that three times this week. Maybe more. It's, it's nice weather. You know, I could just go and make myself do it. I'm quite sweaty. It's like a short run as well. I'm embarrassed to even say how far I went because some of you guys will be really good runners, but it was two kilometers and I did it. My pace is like seven minutes a kilometer, which isn't even that fast, but I find it so hard. But now I'm gonna go and cut the grass and then that's me done today. Hi. 
back at it. Yeah, the grass grows really quickly. The work is going on down here, and the work is going on up here. Look at this grass, pristine, like a gentleman's lawn. A job well done. Hello. Right, what are you listening to? <laughs> Juno's never seen the hammock. <laughs> uh, Nirvana. <laughs> nice. That was good. Both worked out this morning. Jamie's done the grass. Yeah, that's the right. The sun is shining. Actually, a workout for your arms. It's quite good. Especially in this heat. Yeah, I'm roasting. Look at this. I can't, I can't believe we've not had a hammock out yet. This is very bliss. I know. I might have to change my music, I was quite angry. <laughs> Hi, I'm back here, sitting at my space. I'm just uploading a video, right? Our laptop shuts off if we are not like watching a programme. So if I'm not watching a programme at that given time, I'll just stick on YouTube and I'll just play through our YouTube videos, right? Get them views up. And I decided to scroll back for whatever reason. I just wanted to scroll back and watch an older one. So I'm on week 115 and I just had it playing in the background while I was doing, getting my picture ready because this uh, video is sponsored by Redkin. So I've got a Redkin picture to post as well. This is getting to me now. This whole situation is getting to me. I want to go back outside. I miss how things used to be. But the, the thing that's freaked me out so much is I haven't seen other people in so long that this literally gave, made my stomach flip, right? right? I'll show you. So here we are on YouTube, right? This bun's just playing. Let's play it. One thing, I miss my tan. I'm a wee bit tanned right now though, so it's okay. I miss my flipping hair. I'm getting my hair done as soon as this is done. I miss my nails. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, right? But there we go, shopping and home improvements, this one's called. I'm getting ready, basically I'm about to do an Urban Decay event, right? Look at this. <laughs> I cannot believe how many people that is. Look how many people that is. I, I can't, I actually can't, I cannot believe that that many people were all in a room and I just walked out and I wasn't even that nervous. Like I, I was a bit nervous, but, but look, I'm getting to me. Look at me hugging people. Look at me hugging everyone. Human touch. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't, oh my God. I can't, I just can't believe it. I can't believe it. So I was just watching this, right? And I'm really glad that I did because um, I, it's made me realise how much I'm at, how much I miss my job. Like I miss certain part. I know that I'm still working at the moment, but honestly, this the part that I'm doing just now. It's uh, how do I explain it? Part of the reason that I love my job so much is is because it's so different all the time. We're always doing such fun stuff, like meeting so many new people, getting to meet so many people that watch the videos and stuff. I miss hugging people. I miss, I miss like social media. I love my job so much, but see, part of it, I like being social in real life and meeting people and talking to people and hugging people and, and squishing their wee faces against my face. And we can't do that right now. I just miss it so much. I really miss it. But I just feel really lucky. Watching this has made me feel so lucky. And like, um, I, Jack was just saying, I went outside and Jack, was sitting, I actually am like about to cry. Jack was saying that he went through all his Instagram highlights and he does amazing, amazing Instagram stories when we're traveling and he said that he went through them all and watched them all and he can't believe it. And it's made him like, it's it's weird because it's a weird sense of longing. Like we just love it so much and we're so grateful and we just want it back so much, but we're so grateful to have done it in the first place. It's really strange. But, but yeah, I just can't wait. I, I can't wait to be back out in the world and, and, and meeting people. <laughs> I'm quite a social person actually. Actually, I've realised during all this. I have my days where I like to just be myself and, and have and, and be quite into myself. I have my introvert days, I should say. I have days where I don't really want to speak to anyone, but that's normal. Usually the two days before my period. But I am a hugely social person and I'm a people person, big time. And I miss everyone. I miss the world. I miss everyone in the world. Jack, I just had a proper... Are you okay? No. Jack's got a good Scottish tan. It's so hot. I know. I just You're this. roasting hot. Look at that! You look great. Is that a I can't see the comparison because of the sunglasses. I, I need to tell you something. Oh. 
Look at this. This this is blowing my mind. So I was watching old vlogs when I was uploading this video, right? Mm -hmm. Right, remember this? How it was so it, like yeah. it was it was so weird. You vlogging us in the back of a car. I was mm -hmm. like, when was the last time we were in the back of a car? Like, look, there's someone literally so close to my face. I know. I oh, miss. In terms of look, and then look. No, but then look. Oh, I I, I, that was so long ago, and I, I I feel like I'm out of touch. Like I feel like I'm, I would have a panic attack if I had to do that now because I'm just so out. Like, look how many people that is. Yeah, that's mad. I miss okay. it so much. I miss it. Do you miss it? Yeah, I miss going. I miss. Social Everyone, do you, I was just the feeling of community. Yeah, do you know what? I, do you know what I was just saying to the guys? This has made me realise that I am actually a hugely social person. Oh yeah, I miss people. Same, feel good. Nice top. Thanks. It's supposed to be twenty-eight degrees tomorrow now. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight degrees. I'm gonna try and get all my work done so I can have a day off. Hello. Um, I am just watching the weekly vlog. It's Sunday. Um, we haven't vlogged since Friday and um, I don't even really know what to say. I am, as a person, I'm not really that good at talking about how I feel. Um, I'm not great at, I get, I get really nervous talking about um, when traumatic things are happening in the world. I get scared that I don't have my facts straight and that I am wrong. I feel scared to say the wrong thing and upset people. I have posted on my Instagram, um, I'm obviously, I'm talking about George Floyd um, being murdered. And I, I feel like I couldn't put the vlog up this week without talking about it. Just basically, even just to say that I am um, aware of what's happened. Well, I don't know, I know how to say this. I just think it's not about me at all and the only thing that, um, that we should really be doing is, is trying to help. So that's exactly, that's why I wanted to, to say this at the end of the vlog. I'm gonna be putting um, links in the description box of petitions that you can sign at places that you can donate um, any money that you can manage um, to help by by being on social media and, and reading what, 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 what's been spoken about. I think the most important thing is even if you don't really have the words, just speak and just let people know that you care and that you are aware of what's going on and that you are affected and that you do care. Um, so that's just what I wanted to say. I am terrible at this. I've been upset this morning and last night watching videos of what is happening in the world and it is really tough. And I know that um, especially when coronavirus started, people made the choice to, to be a, a, a source of entertainment or a distraction for what's happening in the world, but this is not this is not the same thing. You can't distract away from this. I don't think I could have put up this weekly vlog um, without speaking, um, albeit poorly. I don't I don't know why I'm like this. I'm really sorry. Um, I'll leave all the links and information below, and I hope that things change. So I hope you guys like those videos. Videos? Videos? Do you want to push nipple now? Nipple off. Okay. I thought we call a good corn in the cob. He's easy to front teeth. He's like you eat that piece of corn. <laughs> <laughs> Trouble, what are you doing to her? I'm also on my period, <laughs> which is probably why I'm crying. Everything was covered, but you could just see my bum, che <laughs> my bum cheeks <laughs> coming out the bottom of my jumper. Jane, what's the highest? You can put your hands on your side, as in like standing with your hands in your hips with your elbows pointing backwards, but like what's the highest you can put your hands up to your armpits? Fucking hell, I wasn't expecting that. Go right I, under. I can only get to my ribcage. I've got deodorant all over my hands. I can only get to my ah. get, get to go travel, obviously. I'm slipping again. I need a new stand. Yeah, so basically, I'm rambling. I am rambling 